Ah, so it's time to make your first TV news reporter reel. <laughs> Are you scared? Well, you should be because it's really hard and you're never gonna get a job. Just kidding, you know me, I love to joke on this channel. Welcome back to the channel guys, I'm Ashley, I'm a TV news reporter, voice actress and entrepreneur, and in this video, I am going to be sharing all the tips on how to make a really stellar first TV news reporter reel to have the best opportunities to get that TV news job of your dreams. There are a lot of things that they do not teach you in college that they really should restructure and start teaching people on how to maximize your chances and really present that best reel possible to get the job that associates with your five year, with your 10 year plan. And I'm gonna share all my tips with you to hopefully save you time, energy, and a whole lot of dollar dollar bills, y'all. So a lot of times in college, they'll tell you just go shoot a bunch of stand-ups, make it interactive and interesting, put it all together and try to make it your best and send it to news stations across the country. And we all know if you watched my previous video on how to land the best possible first TV news reporter job, that is not what you are going to do. You are going to see yourself as a product and make a full plan. If you haven't already watched that video, definitely watch it next. I'll put it in the description below. When it comes to making your news reel, you definitely want it to be the best possible. One, your reel is your calling card in this industry. I would argue that it's probably even more important than your resume because they need to see how you're going to pop on camera, how you are going to interact with the audience and really be able to tell a story. So things that future employers are going to be looking out for is how you present yourself on camera, from your appearance to your voice, to how you communicate and tell a story, to your editing and your shooting, and basically everything in between. So first off, it's kind of that age old advice you probably heard from Grandma Joe back in the day. I don't even have a Grandma Joe. Not quite sure I said Grandma Joe. Is dress for the job you want, not the job you have. If you're a college student, probably don't have a ton of money, but really try to assemble outfits that don't make it look like you are a college student. Nowadays, you can order really nice dresses on Amazon and really nice blazers and outfits that really present yourself as a professional who has been in this industry for multiple years versus just coming straight out of college and wearing more college dresses, college clothes that maybe flew at your college news station, but it's not gonna fly in the TV news world. So first off, definitely prepare your outfits and dress for the job you want. When I say prepare your outfits, you also want that outfit to correlate with your particular stand up and the story within your reel. Your reel is going to have a bunch of different stand ups in the beginning and a stand up is when you are presenting yourself on camera to an audience. It's roughly about five to longest, like 15 seconds long. And they're quick little blips of you reporting in the field, being interactive and being as engaging as possible as you're telling the story. So in the beginning, you're gonna have five to 10 of those. You wanna make them short, you wanna make them quick, concise and to the point and really show that you are going to be a great deliverer of that news, of that story. Then at the end of your reel, you are going to have one to two packages, typically two packages. You want these packages to be a minute to a minute and a half long. Most likely, you don't want them any longer than that. All news stations try to really aim for that 90 second mark when they're airing packages on TV. For those of you who've never heard this term, a package is the full news story. So you see that the reporter on screen and you also hear their voiceover and you hear the sound bites of the people they're interviewing and it all kind of weaves together in and out to tell a full story. If you've ever watched the news, you're watching packages left and right. You might not just be associating that with that as a news package. So in the beginning, back in the day, a lot of people would create these like fancy montages and have a, you know, a title card with their name and their phone number and their everything. If a news director is clicking on your reel, they don't need all that in the beginning. In fact, they don't want it. They want you right out of the gate, coming out strong with your strongest material and your strongest standups right away. So cut out all that nonsense. You don't need it. It's very outdated and can lose you a job within seconds. You don't want to lose a job within seconds. You're talented. You want as many job opportunities as possible. When you're thinking of your five to 10 standups in the beginning, you want them to be as engaging 
and as interactive as possible, but also you want them to be grounded and real life type of news. The best way to do this is to watch what is being reported on in your area during that time. And also the best way to get in practice is to literally recreate those stand-ups that reporters are doing. Maybe it's outside a courthouse, maybe it's outside a fire, whatever it is. Try to see if you can go to the scenes that reporters on TV are going to now and get in those practice, get in those reps of being on camera and doing those stand-ups and pick your best ones to put on your reel. This will look the most realistic. You're most likely going to get your first job as a general assignment reporter slash MMJ, MSJ, multimedia journalist, multi-skilled journalist. So you wanna show that you can be interactive, but you also want most of your material to be hard news because that is generally what you're going to be reporting on. So definitely stay up to date with your current news, with your current headlines, and try to recreate what reporters on TV are doing. You might already have a lot of stand-ups from packages you've done in college or whatever program or experience that you're coming from, but you definitely wanna make sure that first 30 seconds of your reel is as best as possible. The audio is crisp, you look your best, and you're really presenting the best possible version of your work. So you can always shoot additional stand-ups to show maybe a different side that you haven't shown in other clips that you have done for your former programs. Something to consider is leaning into the job that you really want. If you really wanna be a morning news reporter, watch those live shots that they're doing. If you really want to be a day side or night side reporter, it's just a lot different than a morning reporter. So you really want to emulate, uh, obviously, again, the job you want and recreate those types of things for your reel. Maybe it's that you want to be a political reporter. Well, again, that might not be your first job out of college or your first job in the industry, but it's really smart to include elements of political reporting in your reel to showcase that that is a major skill that you have really developed and that you're really good at and that the news station would then be able to utilize. Last but not least, get feedback from professionals on your reel. This is so, so, so important. I couldn't stress this enough. Don't just throw something together and send it off to news stations because you're in a rush, you just graduated or you really just need to make that reel and get it out there. Send it to your top professors that you trust. Send it to the people you've interned with. Send it to fellow alumni and get their feedback and take all of that collective feedback and see what has been the ongoing theme. Have a lot of people not liked some of your standups. Have a lot of people said, really work on your delivery or really work on your presence and film some more before you you send out your reel have a lot of people said man I really like the last stand-ups that you had in your reel or your first package but that needs to move closer to the front you always want to think you want your best work at the front you want to make the best first impression possible and a great great way to do this is getting feedback on your reel a secret little outcome that could come from sharing your first newsreel with professionals and getting their feedback from those you already know and that you trust is that they might see something in you and through the process of seeing how hard you're hustling and really putting yourself together to land that first job, they might then offer you a recommendation for a job. So the hustle always pays off, I promise you. And if you are just someone who is really nervous to put together that first reel, Done is better than perfect and you gotta start somewhere. And the only way to combat those nerves and to get much better at delivering on camera and really engaging in a community and feeling like you're talking to your best friend versus you know, putting on a show or whatever it is that's inside of you that might be giving you anxiety, putting together these things and really going after that first TV news reporter job is repetition. And the more you do, the better you will get. And the more initiative you put in, the more that people will recognize that and see your hustle and see your commitment and wanna help. Lastly, if you are reaching out to professionals for their advice and they give it, definitely then respond. Or if they give you an opportunity to sit down to have a cup of coffee or to chat on the phone and talk about your reel or talk about your opportunities, 
follow up on that. You would be shocked at how many people who have reached out to me on Instagram or YouTube or whatever the platform is and asked for my advice and then I gave it and I never heard from them again. Or I said, you know what, I'd be open to hopping on a 10 minute phone call, let me know when the best time is for you. Don't drop the ball. If you are really going after something you want, show your commitment and show your follow through. Follow through is the most important thing. And you might've heard this, but I'm gonna say it again to you. Follow through is the most important thing. And hustle beats talent when talent stops hustling. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful for you. Let me know what other questions you might have on the TV news industry, voiceover, being an entrepreneur, being your own boss, any sort of advice going after the life you want and really creating the life of your dreams. I'm so excited to connect with you. Leave me a comment below, smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. It takes two seconds, zero dollars. 90% of you are not subscribed to the channel, but you're watching my content. So I need you to hit that subscribe button like right now. Hit the bell so you never miss a video and I'll see you next time. Bye guys.